Hey gang, it's me, Dr. Steve, and you know it's actually gotten rather hard to read America's pollsters and pundits without coming across rather panicked articles over the rise of Christian nationalism in America. The alarm bells really seem to be set off by a recent study from the Public Religion Research Institute that asked 5,000 respondents representing all 50 states if they agreed or disagreed with a series of statements such as the U.S. government should declare America a Christian nation. U.S. law should be based on Christian values. If the U.S. moves away from our Christian foundations, we will not have a country anymore. Being Christian is an important part of being truly American. And finally, God has called Christians to exercise dominion over all areas of American society. Now, the results from that study terrified liberals. According to the study, 30% of the American public as a whole either agreed or strongly agreed with every single one of those statements. 30%. It's an astonishing number, especially for those of you who know about tipping point theory. If you don't know about tipping point theory, then you haven't been a regular to this channel. So make sure you smack that bell and subscribe button. It'd be an absolute privilege to have you as a regular part of this channel. But I, I love this tipping point theory stuff. But we talk about tipping point theory all the time. According to tipping point theory, all you need is 20 to 25% of dedicated adherence for people to start migrating in mass to a new paradigm. Scholars have actually studied how mass populations move away from one, say, political or cultural paradigm to another, sometimes very opposite one. And what they found is that you need about 20 to 25 percent of the population to move in that direction first. But the key is that they have to be all in. If you've got 20 to 25 percent of the population all in on another paradigm, it doesn't take a lot to see a new majority emerge that embraces the new paradigm. So if 30% of the American public already ascribes to or a sense to, uh, as, as some kind of allegiance to Christian nationalism, all bets are off, gang. We may already be in the midst of a major paradigm shift that needed a percentage like that to tip the scales, as it were. Now, we're already seeing this taking effect inside the Republican Party. According to a relatively recent University of Maryland study, 61% of Republicans, the supermajority, supports the formal declaring of the United States as a Christian nation. I mean, it's absolutely fascinating. So as you can see, the tipping point has already been reached from inside the Republican Party. But what's even more fascinating, if you can believe it, nearly 20% of Democrats would like to see America declared a Christian nation. 60% of Republicans 20% of Democrats. In other words, if we bring back our tipping point theory, right, what's the percentage you need to get a paradigm shift, to tip society over from one status quo to another? Did you say 20 or 25%? Well, give that man a cigar. You're right. Don't dismiss the significance of 20% of Democrats being attracted to Christian nationalism. That's an extraordinarily significant figure. If it was 10 or 15%, sure, nothing to see there. But 20% is potentially a very significant figure. So why? Why are we seeing this surge of interest and attraction for Christian nationalism? Well, that is exactly what we're going to find out, and you're going to love it. But first, we need to take care of our livers. Did you know that the latest data from the American Heart Association indicates that adults with fatty liver were 3.5 times more likely to have heart failure than those without? And did you know that the American Liver Foundation estimates that as many as 100 million Americans have got fatty liver? That's you. That's me. We cannot save America if we don't first take care of ourselves. Our livers are our body's master detoxifier, but after decades of wear and tear, our livers slow down and become sluggish. This is why so many of us struggle with weight gain and feeling tired all the time. But gang, fortunately, there's a simple, all-natural solution. Liver Health Formula contains 12 
powerful botanicals clinically proven to recharge and protect your liver at the cellular level. It helps restore your liver's detoxifying abilities, boosts your energy levels, and it works remarkably well to fight that horrible fatty liver. Liver Health Formula is backed by proven science and approved by American doctors. And the best part, gang, every single bottle is manufactured right here in the USA. Click on that link below right now and try Liver Health Formula completely risk-free. Do it today and you'll receive five free gifts. So don't wait. Click on that link below or go to getliverhelp.com forward slash Turley right now. Scholars are recognizing that our world, not just our nation, but the world as a whole, is transitioning to a new kind of politics. Ironically, what scholars call restoration politics. It's very, very interesting because globalism operates by something called emancipatory politics. And emancipatory politics is a secular-inspired idea that there's a one-size-fits-all political system that's supposed to liberate disenfranchised groups in a society specifically, specifically by dismantling a population's culture. So under the guise of emancipatory politics, the traditional norms of culture and custom are recast as racist and bigoted and sexist and all kinds of phobic and are therefore to be replaced by woke liberal norms that supposedly liberate and emancipate all kinds of groups that have been unjustly marginalized. And this, of course, has resulted in the current fad of wokeness throughout the West. What's happening is that the globalist infrastructure, the globalist foundation for emancipatory politics is waning all over the world for a number of reasons, but primarily because of what scholars call post-security politics, where Globalism inevitably erodes and destroys the very securities were promised as part of the nation state, border security, economic security, and cultural security. So more and more populations are pushing back against that erosion by re-embracing nationalism, populism, and traditionalism. They're returning to culture, custom, and tradition as mechanisms of resistance against these anti-cultural processes of globalization. But the more globalization wanes, the more its politics, its emancipatory politics, is replaced. And that replacement is what's called restoration politics. That's the new political era we're entering into. Restoration politics is all about implementing retraditionalized policies in every sphere of life. And this is where we're seeing the rising and dominance of Christian national sentiments, not just here in the United States, but also in Europe as well. Overtly Christian nationalist parties have majorities in Hungary, Poland, Italy, Russia, as we speak, and they're growing like wildfire throughout the continent. And this is ultimately because in the end, the secular liberal vision of globalization is finally waning. A new conservative restorationist world is indeed dawning. Hey gang, I know what it's like to feel alone out there in these turbulent times, but I broke free. If you too have been looking for a community with like-minded patriots who are serious about resisting globalism, building a parallel economy, and having intelligent and deep fellowship on a regular basis, then you've come to the right place. In my Courageous Patriot Insiders community, we're building a close-knit movement of, by, and for patriots who are breaking free from the outrage and despair cycles of the mainstream media and taking on the fight against globalism. Every week, I deep dive into the content I can't share on big tech and give you the cliff notes on the truth of how patriots just like you are building up their communities, starting patriot businesses, and fighting the woke in both public and private all with a few history and political lessons from yours truly, of course. If you want to stop feeling alone as a patriot and stand together with this fast-growing community, be sure to click on the link in the description below. Don't wait. Join me and my Patriot Coalition today, and let's get fighting.